Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're new here, my name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. I've currently got a seventh grader, third grader, and five and three year old doing combined pre-K level, but next year we will have an eighth grader, a fourth grader, a kindergartner, and a pre-K kiddo. So today's video, we are talking all things math picks. And again, this video is hosted by Devin at Common the Chaos and Shauna at Homegrown Homeschool. So don't forget to head over to their channels, say hello for me, and watch that playlist that's linked down in the description box when you are done here. So let's dive into what we're choosing for math next year. So I have, like I said, I have an eighth grader, fourth grader, and kindergartner slash pre -er who's coming along for the ride. I'm gonna put timestamps here so that you can watch whatever section you want to watch um, if you just want or have one that you're interested in. So first up, we are gonna talk eighth grade. Um, <clears throat> we are trying something new this year. We are using Saxon Algebra One. This is her very first official high school credit um, because she is going to be in eighth grade and she is, you know, already taking Algebra One and it counts, guys. It counts. So this is her very, very first high school credit that she is earning. We are using Saxon in combination with Nicole the Math Lady's videos. So I will, I'm going to give you a little peek inside of this as well as show you, um, a little bit about the Nicole the Math Lady website. This isn't going to be like a super thorough in-depth review or anything. I just am going to give you kind of a peek inside because it's not something I've shared on my channel yet because it is new to us. Um, but if you have more questions after what I share today that you'd like me to answer, by all means, drop them down in the comments and I'd be happy to put together a video answering those questions for you guys. While you're down there, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. So let's look inside this book and at Nicole the Math Lady. So this is Saxon Algebra 1. This is the version that has geometry in it. So I think the the, the third edition, I think the, there's a fourth edition now that does not have geometry in it. But I wanted to have the geometry in it, so I made sure I went with the third edition. What I bought was from Rainbow Resources. I'll link it down below. But it was like the homeschool packet, and it came with a jump drive with video lessons. The only reason I bought it, that one, was because it was actually cheaper with the jump drive than it was without the jump drive. Um, I don't know why, so, but that's why I bought it with the jump drive. I did look at the videos on the jump drive before committing to Nicole the Math Lady, but they were very dry and I didn't think my, my daughter would enjoy them. And so we are not going to use the, the jump drive of videos that came with it. Um, unless I feel like maybe she needs a different approach to, you know, a lesson that she might not be understanding. So I have it. It's here, but I don't plan on using it. In the bundle, with besides the jump drive, there was the textbook, the um, test forms, and then a homeschool packet and a solutions manual. So the homeschool packet, honestly, I could have done without. I don't really know... Like, okay, so for instance, let's look at, it says introduction, test solutions, and, and problem set answers. So maybe it was because, let's see, what's in this one? So this one just jumps, oh, this one is a solutions manual. Let's see if it has the test. This is all just problem sets. So I guess that's what this is for, that this one has the solutions to this in it. Um, looking at this, I... I don't know if you necessarily need this. Um, I guess if you're trying to earn credits, you might need it. I don't really know. So I have it. I bought the whole thing because I didn't know what I was going to need or what I didn't know what I, you know, what I didn't, wasn't going to need. This is just like that very flimsy, like public school textbook paper. Um, but I guess you are meant to just make photocopies of these tests or they, there's not room to write on here. So you probably would just give them the test booklet and have them write like that. I'll probably just give her the test booklet and say, do this test, you know, do test one. Um, <clears throat> but I guess you could make copies of it and give it to them if that, you know, so, but that's the test booklet. We haven't gotten to that yet. So I can't really speak to too much to that. Um, and then this does have. The problem set answers and it's problem set answers and the test answers in, in here. So um what we have been using now mind you we're only like six 
six lessons in, but what we have been using are these two books right here. So this one is the her textbook, um, and I'm gonna show you a look in here. Here's the breakdown of lessons. There are 120 lessons, so there are quite a few lessons. And then it jumps right in to the lessons pretty much straight away. There's there's one page. So then it does jump into the lesson. And this is what a typical lesson looks like. There is a short little description with some example problems to show them what to do. And But then it pretty much just jumps right into the problem sets. So this is also more lesson over here. And then here's your problem sets for the lesson. Then it just moves right on into lesson two. So. Could you use this on your own? Possibly, but I don't think it would be enough. So you're definitely gonna wanna use either the video lessons that you know you can buy online. There's a couple of different different ones. There's the, the one that I got and one other one that I heard about that I don't remember the name. We're using Nicole the Math Lady, um, and I'm gonna pull that up on the computer and show that to you now. But this book here has been helpful to me because it has, this one has just the answers, like basically, just this is the answer to the problem whereas this book has here is how you work the problem out and here is how you get to the answer so that has been helpful for me because it's been a long time since i've done me some algebra guys um and so even though i know how to do it i did need some refreshers and this was very helpful to have to show me how they got the answer that they got so I'm gonna jump over to my computer now and show you the uh, Nicole the Math Lady. Okay, so this is Nicole the Math Lady. Here is Algebra 1 that my daughter is doing, and this is where she goes to find her, her book. So it says in progress, she's gonna hit continue here. You can type in the lesson here that, she, that you're gonna work on, but I'm just gonna pull this up so you can see that there were several videos for her to watch here. Um, and then she did, I did have her do the practice lessons first, but I'm finding that this is taking a really long time for her to do. So I am not making her do the practice problems anymore. I don't think she needs them. Um, but basically this is what this looks good. like. You just come in here, you select a number that you're working on. I have it set to where she does evens on even days and odds on odd days. Um, because it's that's all I mean it's like 30 problems is a lot of problems guys so I and it's, it's taking her about an hour which I'm not thrilled with um so I'm trying to see how we can make it less difficult or less lengthy but anyways it just gives you multiple choice here or it might if you're actually solving a problem it gives you a box to enter it tells you how to enter fractions um, and all of that stuff. So this has been really great because it does tell me, you know, like how many she got right or how many she got wrong. Um, and I really do, I'm like, we're liking the system. The videos are absolutely wonderful. Okay, so I hope that was helpful for you guys who maybe not have not seen this yet. Um, and again, if you, there are any questions that you have, go ahead and drop them down in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. Moving on to fourth grade. You know we love it around here. We will be using Math UC. So if you've seen any of my videos, you know that my middle daughter was saying she wanted to try teaching textbooks again. We tried it. She remembered why she didn't like it. And she immediately said, never mind, I'm gonna stay with Math UC. So we will just be continuing on with the next level, which will be Delta. So Delta is the level that I haven't actually used before um, because my, my daughter, like I said, we have tried other things. We tried Beast Academy, we tried um, teaching textbooks and those just really wanna go for us. So, but my daughter, my older daughter never used that level. So I will be picking that level up this year and that's what my middle daughter will be using for math this coming school year. Moving on to kindergarten, we will also be using Matthew C. So um, I am going to link some videos down below where I've shared about, um, I did a math comparison, which was Beast Academy um, teaching textbooks in Matthew C. Um, but I do, I did realize that I never really like shared like a full video of Matthew C. Um, so I do have that planned to come out because now I do have a lot of levels and I can kind of show you guys inside several levels. Um, <clears throat> so when I get my Delta in, I will do that for you guys. Um, but we will be using uh, the primer with my littlest two. Uh, and going along. The only thing else that I'm considering doing with them is picking up Kate Snow's Math with Confidence. I've just heard so many good things about it and it just seems so gentle and um, 
engaging and I think they might like it and it's not really that expensive I think it's like $40 for the PDF version um so I may or may not grab that. I may, it, I'm going to start with the Matthew C. Primer um, and see like how they're doing and how they're liking it. And if I feel like maybe there, you know, that might be enough. That might be all that we do. And I may or may not pick up that one because it just does look pretty good. So uh, that's what we're using for math next year. Um, something new and something tried and true. So I would love to hear what you guys have decided on for math for next year. So drop that down in the comments and I hope you guys will come back and chat with me again real soon. Don't forget to head on over to Devine and Shauna's channels and thank them for hosting and check out that playlist of all the other moms who are sharing with you guys what they've chosen to use for math. So come back and talk to me again soon. Bye guys.